Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Lab Noting. In this episode, we're gonna do something that's a little bit fun, kind of a um a way like an idea that uh, came up when I after I did the RGBA and the XYZ conversion from 3D mesh into image and then back and forth. It's a uh, I realized that we can actually do like a Maybe we can create some kind of like a like a secret message that you can store as a points data, and then you you save it as an image, and then you can give it to your friend, and then your friend need to decipher the message somehow. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's have a look how we can do that. Let's say um, the message is just a just uh, like I'll, I'll write it using a uh, grease pencil just like happy new year if with a smiley face and we know that we can convert it to grease pencil uh, to a normal um, curve okay and I hide it um, grab the curve and then file save as this is gonna be the RGBA secret message so we have this point um, we're gonna turn it into a point clouds real quick uh, just using spread chop. Um go to compositing spread chop. I'm just gonna import oops sorry just crash um, gonna reopen that yeah, the idea is um, just to quickly um, kind of scatter the, the lines a little bit uh, instead of a, like a simple lines we want to make it like a, like a point cloud uh, I'll reopen blender in a few seconds and we get it back okay now I think I, I I think the ones that's causing the crashing is probably the objects in maybe we better use the object in slide this one may be more stable maybe anyway get this guy and then check the vertices it should be like a bunch of vertices um, they're quite dense and then it's just a, a single stroke I usually use my mouse to with grease pencil and so it doesn't have any proper pressure sensitivity but here we can kind of randomize the input vertices and get a little bit of solid whoops, solid uh, look to it I think that's a little bit better a little bit more random okay now okay we have this this is uh, how to turn this into a secret message okay we can use the sphere chalk XYZ to RGBA conversion so we're gonna drop it here uh, SV XYZ to RGB grab it okay and you should get the setup here and um, I am actually going to bake the points just bake it out so we have our point cloud we have the grease, the original grease pencil. I'm just gonna hide it. So we have this point cloud. I'm just gonna check how many point cloud we have. It's a uh, three thousand three one eight six. Okay, three one eight six. Three one eight six. It's a uh, the square root is uh, around fifty six. We can just uh, make it fifty seven. So create an image fifty seven by fifty seven call it secret okay and then back to this guy call it secret and just update and then we have this image and I have not sourced this thing properly I have to grab this guy by the way I and source it into this remove and get and then update Okay, now this is this colorful lines represent this secret message. Believe it or not, yeah, it's a uh, very interesting. So I'm gonna save this as a secret, and I'm gonna open 
Um, actually, I'm gonna save this real quick. Gonna reopen Clean Blender. It's clean, it doesn't have anything, believe it or not. I'm gonna do a little bit of magic here. Gonna go to Compositing, go to Open Spreadshop, and then if we, I, if I open the image just now, the one that uh, you can send to your friend, um, it's called Secret, right? Secret. Okay, this image, it contains a secret message. What is secret message? Let's uh, let's grab our RGBA to XYZ conversion. Um, oh, ish. It crashes again just now. Um, I think it crashes whenever. I don't know why. It's a it's a weird thing. Anyway, this is probably one of those live noting. I think it's because of the memory. Because I'm I have this recording. I I I don't get that crashing too often when I was not recording. Anyway, file import here desktop get the RGB to XYZ conversion and then file save as this is a secret out um, let's uh, open our secret message image okay this guy and secret just specify the name of the image and then just reload it there you go, that's a secret image, uh, the secret message, right? It's a uh, very interesting. We might need to slice out the extra points, but here, yeah, this is the secret message. This is from this image into point cloud, and then you can um, you can do something interesting like, uh, where's the metaballs? Okay, metaballs. Here's our metal ball, just scale it a little bit. Parent it to this guy. Oops. Control P. Save. And then with this guy selected, the parent, go under this. And then turn duplications on the vertices. And then it should duplicate the metal balls. You see how quick it's like it's like under one second it generates the metal balls. This is a uh, I think really, Splendor really is really powerful on that matters. Converting metaballs of these uh, thousands of points, it's really really fast. And uh, if you use other software, this is actually quite heavy, and it takes a while. Increase the threshold, so it's kind of shrink a little bit. Reduce the resolution, push the threshold a little bit more. Actually, cannot have it too high. So, well, anyway, that's a. Uh, if you want to use the meta balls to see the secret message, I think. I think there is another one I can try. Secret message. Oh, actually, that's a. <laughs> that's a wrong image. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Carrie Fisher image. Supposedly I convert it into something else. But I don't know if you have an image like that and you wanna see the point cloud. Um, let's see how how many pixels is that? Six hundred by six hundred pixels, three hundred sixty thousand points, multiple by four, and let the spreadshot kind of convert that into a point cloud the results is probably not gonna be anything but anyway um, that's uh, the secret message um, fun thing that you can do um, sorry about the the last image here so it was the wrong image but anyway um, yeah if you you can write like secret image using grease pencil converting those point clouds into just a single image and then give it to your friend and ask them to figure it out um, yeah good luck on that it's a 
have fun and if you have any question feedback just let me know down below